morning. Um, it's Friday. It feels beautiful outside. It's like 60 degrees. Actually feels like full, but it's supposed to be a high of 89 today, which is disgusting because it's October 1st today. <laughs> it does not need to be that hot. It's no business being that hot. But yeah, it should be a good day. I think we're about to go to the pancake house and get some traditional Gatlinburg breakfast. So probably not pancakes. I'm gonna get some country ham. And then, yeah, we're gonna meet up with some cars and take them up into the mountains and shoot some cool shit. They're speaking really quietly, like we'd be able to hear them anyway. I broke a nail. You broke a nail? <laughs> they were like a hundred dollars. It's only Friday. This is what happens when you pregame for the pancake house. <laughs> oh God. I'm pre-gaming the pancake house, okay? It's the only way to do it. I got this. I only drink on the weekends. It's October 1st, it's basically Halloween, and Halloween is where you get drunk all the time. It's like, it falls into October 1st, it's fine. Yeah, this is Macy. This is Michaela. What'll happen is we'll go get pancakes, and then we'll go to film, and the cars will show up two hours late, and then the rest of the day will be two hours behind, and then I don't know what'll happen. Get a slide for $300. Pre meets later today. Vaded Mob, me, and Battle Gang, and Vagrant, I think. Should be a good day. Might be a stupid question, but what is the difference between the country ham and the city ham? Country ham is salty. It's what? Salty. Okay, I don't know if one of them like grew up in an apartment, <laughs> one was in a house or something. It's crazy. Alright, uh, let me do the sampler bacon, sausage, and country ham. How do you want to Uh, just scrambled. Toast or biscuit? Uh, toast please. People who are coming here for the first time, like, they like see all this hype about Gallenberg, and then they look up the show, and like when they're going to book a house, they're like, oh yeah, get something close to the venue, so they just look up Sevierville, and they end up... I know, that people, like... All of these people are staying in Sevilla. Yeah, in these like, he was telling me, and he was like, "Yo, we're up, we're right next to FRS Patty." I'm like, "Bro, you're like a they're, hour, you're like they're a They're literally, the they're staying in like, their Airbnbs are like, they're, it's a house, it's yeah. a house and a subdivision. I'm like, half the point of this this event weekend is to stay in a cabin with your friends. If you literally stay five minutes from the venue, which sucks because it's not even in the mountains, what's the point? What's the point? I'm putting this, is, is it rolling right now? <laughs> okay. I'm public statement right now. If you're coming to Gatlinburg next year, book a cabin in Gatlinburg. I don't care how far away the venue is. Sam Danoff does this shit where like, they keep putting shows like an hour away from where it's supposed to be. Chicago was like that Chicago. Wasn't in Chicago. Was it not in LA? Bro. It was Orange County, wasn't it? It was in fucking Ontario. Ontario. Which is like an Slam hour from Slam it off Nashville. It was an hour from Nashville. Slam it off Gatlinburg. It's an hour from Gatlinburg. Stop booking hotels or houses by the venue. It sucks. Book them in the city with everybody else. So if you come to Gatlinburg next year, book it in Gatlinburg. Yeah, I feel like the the few biggest things that you have to do when you come to Gatlinburg is log cabin, good group of friends, cars, Meats. pancake houses. So we're at four right now. What else? The bears. car wash here. You have to bears, bears. The moonshine places. Um, Mimosas. Shoots, obviously. That's about it. But like the main things is like log cabin, friends, cars. Dude, Gatlinburg used to be so good when it was at the convention center in Gatlinburg because it's it's on the strip. So like. When you're at a car show, which indoor car shows suck, you're there for like 12 hours a day, you have nothing to do. Yeah, you literally, you park your car, hang out for a little bit, see some cars, and then you could just walk out the doors and go play, you, yeah, you could go get drunk, you could go play mini golf, like, you said at the same time. There's so many good things to do on the strip, and there's nothing to do in Sevierville. And so it's the same shitty- It's water park. It's closed, it's October. It's the same bullshit, shitty indoor show as anywhere else. No disrespect to Slam Enough, they put on a good show, but it's like, it doesn't make it any, it doesn't make it any different than anywhere else. We need more car shows that are like, not convention centers. There's nowhere to do it here, that's the problem. The convention center's gone? No, the convention center's still here, but there's just, there's nowhere to do like an outdoor thing or anything like that. No, we need to do it. Hell yeah. Thank you, honey. On our way 
deep into the mountains right now. We're going to drive up to a place called Klingman's Dome. Um, you drive through Gatlinburg and then follow the road up for about an hour. Uh, there's no phone service and hopefully less tourists, but Klingman's Dome is like this lookout thing that you have to hike to, but the parking lot is all parking spaces in front of just a completely open view. Um, you could easily see for like a hundred miles up there. So hopefully it's like relatively clear and not super cloudy. Um, but we've got two big body cars. I've got a basically, well, not full junction produce, but a lot of junction produce stuff on it, but GS400 and then an LS430. They're both beautiful cars. One's black, one's white. Um, both have chrome wheels, both have interior stuff. Um, so I think it should be a pretty cool contrast shoot. Um, and this is like the main focus for today is to shoot this feature with these two cars. We're going to do some stuff up here in the mountains. We're going to shoot some rollers on the way back down. And then later on this evening, we'll go to the pre-meet. Um, but I'm so excited to just be like out being creative, adventuring, um, and focusing my time and effort into making cool shit instead of like trying to get as much stuff as possible. I'm like focusing on one specific thing. Sometimes when you go to film these uh, after movies, it's like, all right, I've got to get as much content as possible. I need to book like 10 shoots in a day, and then you get like barely any time with each shoot. So it's nice to just be like, all right, let's spend six hours with these cars and make sure this, you know, two minute section in the video is sick. So. shooting stuff while driving up the mountain for the past couple of hours now um, and we are pulling up to this spot and it looks incredibly busy which is bad because this spot's insane but if we can't shoot here it sucks but it's not a waste because we've literally filmed so much stuff on the way up we filmed rollers uh, suction cup clips some b-roll drone shots pretty dope but yeah, we just pulled up here. It's pretty busy. We may be able to get away with shooting like there along the edge. I'm just hoping that there's parking spots further along where it's just open view. And if we can get enough space or we can have both the cars, that would be great. We can just like put the cars on the curb somehow because that would be so sick. Fuck, dude, this is mm -hmm. like that's that's where we need to be. Super, super busy, but I think we might have an idea of what we can do. The curb drops, so whenever that car moves, we're gonna be assholes. We're gonna be nice about it, obviously, but if we can pull them on here, back them up, we'll shoot literally right here with like all the people around. <laughs> look, literally turn around, look at this shit. Insane. It's a little hazy out, but you know, we're here. I'm super excited to shoot this. Being super excited to shoot this, I'm super excited to watch. <laughs> Pedestrians on the sidewalk. Oh yeah, right? no, I, I get it. Okay. Are we are we able to for like 10, 15 minutes? So like, cause we're gonna we're gonna put them back here so they're not like in the way. If this was just like the only way that we could get them the like right there. The yeah. yeah. It'll take me like 20 minutes. I yeah, flew out here from Cali for the You just want to get pictures okay. of the car? Yeah, yeah. Once we'll it's this this car and then that other car. A permit? Do I have a permit? It's not for like anything commercial. What kind of permit do we need? Just family inside the park. 
inside the park you need a permit to film you sure do for personal use yes you sure do what about like that lady taking a selfie over there she you don't need do a permit that's all right but a movie camera you got to have a permit I mean, it's for personal use. We're, we're just out here because we do. It's personal use. We're just out here doing this. Here. You can't do it here in the park. <sighs> okay. The security had come up here and impounded that car. Impounded it? Impounded it because look where he's at. I get it. But I mean, it's not like you can't back, back off of there. I'm not trying to be, be difficult with you guys. We've had to park up on there and get a citation it's for $300. So if you want a citation, leave it right there and I'll get a ranger up here. Okay. All right. Very well, simple. Fair enough. You need to get off the sidewalk. <sighs> they're gonna be difficult about it. Okay. I'm like half tempted to just take the citation. He said it's like 300 bucks. Like so I'll get a ranger up here, but I guess I guess back up. We'll figure out another spot. God damn it! I don't know how much of that I got on film or like audio, but basically like one of the park rangers came running over and was like, "Yo, yo, what are you doing?" And I was like, "Uh, uh, um." Can we take some pictures on the curb? And he's like, oh, yeah, okay. Um, but just, you can't be blocking the sidewalks. I was like, yes, we're good. And then dude, hothead came over here and he's like, you got a permit? I'm like, permit for what? He's like, you need a permit to film in the park. I was like, all that. Lady over there is taking a selfie. She's recording. It's like, no, you got movie cameras. I'm like, I mean, technically you can buy this camera at Best Buy. So what, uh, what falls under movie camera? But he said uh, he would get, a park ranger up here and towed the cars and it was a three hundred dollar citation if they weren't going to tow the <laughs> if they weren't going to tow the cars i'd probably just pay the citation like three hundred a car to shoot the feature we want to shoot but because they might tow the cars i'm not going to do that to the guys but it would be fucking sick anyways he's now just standing over there just like <laughs> he's fine <laughs> he's somewhere over there <laughs> But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's Hawkeye. He did come over here and he's like, you guys got handicap plates because we're in the handicap spot, which we do. So there's your permit, son. <laughs> Throw up the fucking gif of uh, what's his name from fucking Parks and Rec. He's like, I don't need, it's just a piece of paper that says. <laughs> this just says I can do what I want. I am the director of the parks department and this is a park. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. But yeah, now we have to find a plan B, so. Yeah. Today we got out the Sony A7 III with a Sigma, Sigma 24 to 70 2.8. Very sharp. We what got settings, bro? Uh, today we are shooting an S Log 2 as per request by Mr. Liam. I'm a personally Sony S Log 3 kind of guy. So all you guys that get hired, you gotta listen to your director. Ain't that right, Liam? That's me. I'm your daddy. <laughs> it's true though. People be on shoots and they like think they can do whatever settings they want. This is the original Ronin. For those of y'all that don't know, you guys always tell me, oh, you got the Ronin M. Like, no, I have the Ronin. The original Ronin, it's, it's a couple inches bigger, has a higher payload. Could take it in faster, more extreme speeds. When the wind's against it, obviously. So we're shooting a 99 GS400 and a 2005 LS430. So this car has a lot of interior details, so it's a perfect example to shoot with. Um, tons of little, you know, trays, tables, diamond stitch everywhere. Um, and interior shots with a gimbal is usually pretty difficult because you're very close to the subject. What shirt is that? What? It's the Gatlinburg shirt. Dang, this thing had to go out of focus as soon as you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, just keep spinning, there you go, beautiful. Yep, that shirt looks so good out of focus, I love it. <laughs> if you guys wanna see it in focus, go to lepautomotive.com. <laughs> I haven't filmed properly in like three years and very weak. This sucks. I'm gonna let you know right now that if these are shaky, it's because I'm I'm dying. Ooh, drive and shoot. I really need to restock those shirts. Like shoot guns? 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like literally drive-bys, dude. That's exactly what I'm promoting. That's what he's all you see, you don't, you see the, you see the gun in the guy's hand. I'm like dying. My back is like shaking. It's like, <laughs> God damn. Someone in the comments is gonna be like, damn, Liam. You go to the gym. You're like, fuck. You're right, son. Bean goes to the gym. Bean does go to the gym. That's why. That's why I hired Bean. I retired like three years ago, and now I'm doing this again. My check backlight just came on, dude. It's fucked. Probably takes like 45 minutes. Well, it probably takes a full hour to drive down the mountain. We're gonna shoot rollers on the two-lane highway. Do some fucking. The problem is, if I start rolling, I panic. I'm like, it didn't work. Oh, shit. <laughs> Think about shit. <laughs> We're the pre-me. We showed up super fucking late because we're in the mountains for way too long. Here, watch yeah, out. It's not this good. Car. Nah, it's worth it, but it's kind of dark here, so we need to really get to film a whole lot. But, hold on, this car coming. I just picked up my wheels. I haven't opened them yet, I think. I think I'm gonna open them at the show tomorrow, so I'm gonna unveil them like live or whatever. But right, yeah, right now we are hanging out. I have my hood up because I'm trying to be antisocial. My like social battery is really low. Even though I have not socialized with anybody, I'm just tired. I can't even imagine how tired Bean is. He's been doing all the work. I don't know what we're doing, actually, because I think a lot of people are leaving. So let's just walk and see what happens. Oh, Big Blends, yeah, he's The Big Blends up. video faded this guy up in the street. Yeah. I was on TikTok one day, and somebody literally tagged me and said, yo, isn't that the guy from your video? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this man, right? I walked over, and I was like, I'm gonna need some bodies to carry some wheels for me. This man was up for the challenge. I was like, yo, you're hammer drunk. He was up for it. We walk all the way over to the gas station, get this shit. And he don't want to walk like around to get up the hill. So I see this man beeline through the fucking field. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And so we walk around and we're standing at Taco Bell waiting for him. I look over and see a motherfucker at the top of the hill with a box like this going, yo, yo, I'm like, you're a crackhead, dude. <laughs> this man is a crackhead superhero. And he beat us to the top of the hill. Look at look at I this man. Tried look, my hey, best. make tried direct my best. eye contact I with the lens. Best. Try. I tried my best. <laughs> it's fucked. Always. Always fucked. Shout out to Vader for this sick ass pre meet. I'm sorry we showed up late, but thank you, Josh, and everybody for showing up at my meet last night. Um, this was very official. There's like thousands of cars here. So fucking sick that they did this and this was actually like rented out and legit and you could like earlier you could go in the baseball stadium and yell at kids i'm sure that would have been fun i wish we were here for that but we got here a little late but josh shout out go check out vaded their shit's hot all of their cars are insane literally peep that thing beautiful big fucking congrats to stance shop ryan he is legit a celebrity out here now i said they're only taking pictures with you because they think you're drake it ain't gonna beat the vibes of the first year because the first year nobody was trying like everybody now is trying to one-up each other like yo i got a bigger house or yo i did this in the after movie and it's like the first year we were just vibing the first year it was just chill everybody anybody who started this video has been waiting the entire video for this moment right here <laughs> thank god i'm you guys know who this is fuck oh, me too, Aaron, DC5. you know you guys know who the fuck this is you know what they want <laughs> what a cone <laughs> i don't have any of them <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh tomorrow we'll be at the show these guys will be at the show if you haven't checked out battle gang oh, yeah. please go grab some stuff from their website please go grab some stuff from my website and then please go fucking yeah. go smoke a fat one for this guy and then also yeah. smoke a fat one for this guy. <laughs> Yo, let's all get high. And me. <laughs> so cool.